Personal protective equipment should be selected based upon proximity to the patient and the likelihood of contact with any blood or body fluids during procedures in the patient care area. This video will demonstrate the proper sequence for donning personal protective equipment based on guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control. The first step in donning personal protective equipment is good hand hygiene. The second step of the procedure is donning the gown. The gown should be fastened at the back of the neck and the waist by tying a bow. The third step is the selection of respiratory protection. One option might be a procedure mask. Procedure masks are used for droplet precautions. Droplet precautions are used in the care of patients with influenza. To apply this mask, gently crease the metal insert to create an indentation for your nose. Then cuff the elastic bands around your ears and spread the mask to cover your face from the bridge of your nose to below the chin. Finally, ensure the mask is snug and comfortable on your face. Procedure masks also come with attached eye protection. This mask is applied in a similar fashion. Respirators act as a filter to prevent small particles from entering the airway of the person wearing them. A respirator should be fit tested annually in order to ensure a good seal. The properly sized respirator should always be used. Place the respirator on your face and position the straps at the back of the head and at the base of the neck. The elastic straps should be in contact with the skin on your neck so remove any hair that is in the way. Press the mask along the edges to seal it to your skin. Finally, breathe deeply in and out, feeling for any areas where air may be escaping along the edges. Respirators can be shaped to fit the face or be folded. Folded respirators are applied in a similar fashion, ensuring that the respirator is fully unfolded and has a tight seal with the skin. Again, breathe deeply in and out, feeling for any areas where air may be escaping along the edges. Facial hair will prevent the respirator from making a tight seal with the skin. Even a small amount of stubble will compromise the seal and reduce the protection provided by a respirator. If the respiratory protection you selected does not have attached eye protection, eyewear should be selected next. Protective eyewear might be safety glasses or goggles. Many shapes and styles are available. The final step in the procedure is the application of gloves. Ensure that the cuff of each glove covers the wrist of the isolation gown. A secure fit will prevent gapping while providing care to the patient. Before entering the room, ensure all personal protective equipment is in place and comfortable. This will prevent you from adjusting your personal protective equipment while in the patient care area and potentially contaminating unprotected areas of your body. You are now ready to provide care to your patient.